moving forward because success is a series of well-managed failures. And everybody thinks that, you know, you just, you go out there and you're not going to get rejected. You're not going to mm-hmm. get no, you're going to be able to think you have a crazy idea. Yep. That's everyday life yep. as an entrepreneur. So you're going to fail lots. The key thing is if you want to become more successful, just fail faster and fail more often. You'll get through things. If you're failing right now, you're not succeeding, take a look at who you're in close proximity with. Look at, look at the people that are closest to you. If you followed me around with a camera crew for a week, you would find that I do things consistently day in, day out. There's certain things I do as habitual thoughts and feelings and actions, but there's also things I do that are non-negotiables. Spend time with people you respect and admire, not people you always have an influence on. Right? They're smart, educated people. They have big egos. They want to get things done. They have performance evaluations. They have to report to somebody. There's a sense of accountability and responsibility versus a public seminar. When you go to a public seminar, people will hang out for the whole day. You know, you're dealing with, you're dealing with executive CEOs, boards of directors, shareholders of big publicly traded companies. You know, they'll give you about six minutes. So they'll sit in their chair for six minutes and they think it's just a bunch of fluff or a bunch of rah-rah or kumbaya. They exit. They're gone. They don't waste any time and they don't want to apologize for it. Right? So understand that you're going to get hugged and you're going to get slugged. No matter what you do, whenever you're out there in the public, you're going to get hugged and you're going to get slugged. You're going to get kissed and you're going to get kicked. If you go to a professional sporting event, hockey, for example, you know, people are going to be cheering for the referee and people are going to be booing the referee. Right? So it's just part of the game. Right? And so no matter, you know, no matter what you do, you're going to get hugged and slugged. So the key thing is number one is you're going to get attention. Number two is you're going to get criticized. Three is you're going to get haters. And number four is you're going to get admired. So it's a four-step process. You get attention, you get criticized, you get haters, and you get admired. Why do you get admired at the end of all that? Because if you look at Donald Trump, for example, 